to the people that don't seem to be able to understand this for some reason, okay? Uh, religious bigotry, um, real racism, genuine racism. Um, these things, uh, the negative effects of these things don't decrease when they feel justified in being able to say any of this stuff. Okay, this, this is one area that shame worked on. And I never wanted to admit before that shame works, but it does. It's what's stopped people from saying a lot of these bigoted things. It's why Christians generally don't tell gay people, well, you're going to burn in hell for eternity. It's been the reason why uh, Muslims don't go around telling gay people, oh, well, uh, you should, you should, I think you should be put to death. You know, it's, it, this is the reason why people don't say those things. It's why people don't go around calling black people niggers, gay people faggots, women, uh, calling women cunts, just for, for no reason at all. Um, this sort of thing is the reason for that. And somehow, some people seem to think that if you open up the floodgates of this stuff, that, that somehow cuts back on violence. Because, well, if you silence people, that causes violence. Well, here's the problem here, okay? That kind of bigotry, you can't reason with. There is nothing you can say that will change that. Okay, well, some people say, well, they're just words. Um, yeah, and some words hurt. And if you're going to be one of the, well, you know, they shouldn't, you should grow a thicker skin. You know, we're not in fucking elementary school. We were, we were supposed to be adults. This is some shit I've been talking about on, on YouTube for months now, saying, hey, this shit that we're seeing online is going to creep its way into real life, especially if Trump gets elected. And get, what do you know? That's exactly what's happening. Okay, and since there is no, there are no words that can that can counter what these bigots say. There's nothing you can do verbally. With some people, eventually they're, they're going to feel that the only choice is to fight back with violence. Well, that's on them then. Hey, we're going we're gonna to learn a very hard lesson as to, you know, yes, freedom of speech is, is a good thing, but when people abuse it, that's when it's not a good thing, and that's when things turn to shit, and that's what we're probably in for. Because there seems to be a, a, an unlimited amount of people giving these same types of shitty arguments. I, I guess we're going to learn the hard way. Our, I, you know, I've been talking about this for months. I've been saying this shit is coming for months. People are saying, no, 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 you're just overreacting. You're, here it is. Then you bring it up and people say, well, it, that, that's not real, or, oh, that, the hate crimes don't really exist, or, oh, uh, uh, you know, letting people say this stuff, that will cut back on violence. Wow, I, I mean, how fucktarded are you? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, I mean, what can you say? I'm back to the position now where I feel that I am probably going to have to get a firearm. I'm not going to use it based off of uh, someone just saying something to me, obviously, but I'm going to have to get a firearm because I, it seems I, in the future, I'm going to have to start to worry about gay bashing because you know nobody cares about the things that lead to gay bashing. Well, no, they have to actually gay bash. And then if there is gay bashing, you'll say that the hate crime doesn't exist. Or you'll say that, well, no, it, this has nothing to do with people feeling free to say whatever the fuck, say whatever nasty thing they want to anyone. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it seems like we're going to be a country where we're going to turn into a country where let's be as nasty to each other as possible. And that's how, that's how you promote unity, right? By treating everyone like shit, let's promote. That's the way to promote unity. It doesn't work that way, and that doesn't stop violence. That increases violence. And if you're in some weird mindset where you think it actually does decrease violence, um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. You're probably stupid. 